We are in the final countdown to Fiesta Topeka. The 90th anniversary event is next week. Can you believe it? <laughs> Committee members Dominic Gutierrez and Jim Garcia are here along with Father Dan from Our Lady of Guadalupe Parish. Gosh, you guys, this seems like we've been talking about this forever. We've been talking about this yes. for 90 years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. Yes, so we Dominic, what are the final things that people need to know as we make plans for next week? Final things you need to know is the Fiesta starts on the 18th of, of this month, runs through the 22nd. One thing we do need, and all, we'll always need, are volunteers. Mm -hmm. And so if you're interested, please get a hold of anybody on the committee or, or just call the church and, and you'll be directed uh, in the in the right, uh, right area. Now, we actually do get underway on Saturday with the parade. Yes, the Saturday. How actually, do folks take part and or watch? We start off uh, in the morning at eight o'clock downtown and um, all the red, all those that have registered are, have been accepted. Uh, I think they may be taking late entrance. I, I mm -hmm. think they may be. But from downtown, we'll run from 4th in Kansas to 8th in Jackson, make that turn and come back. And 10.30 is the actual parade time. Yes. So if you just want to mm -hmm. watch, go out and do that. And logistically for Fiesta, when it runs next Tuesday through Saturday, gosh, the whole event, I'm so excited for the yes. whole week to be back. Shuttles. You have shuttles again this year? We have free shuttles. Yes, we do. And to and from. And where do they, where do folks park if they want to get the shuttle? They'll park. Um, 8th and Madison, I 8th believe. 8th and Madison, I believe it is. Yes, in that and parking area. And they'll be taken to the church. Dropped off right outside on, on Greeley and Chandler, and then they'll, um, on the return, that's where they'll, they'll be picked up and taken back to their vehicle. Parking in the neighborhood can always be a little tight, so it's yes. good to know about that. Jim, also mm -hmm. back this year is the art show. Yep. What do we have going on that people can check out with the art show? Well, the art show will be every night of the fiesta from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. It'll be in the lower level of the Marlo Cuevas Philander and Activity Center. Uh, the art show is completely free. They are taking a free will offering mm -hmm. if people want to donate and all the money will go to Holy Family Catholic School. What kinds of artwork do you have for people to see? We have various, there'll be a lot of paintings. We have about 20 featured artists that will be, a majority of them actually are parishioners. Mm. We have very talented people in our parish. So come out, and then we have a featured artist. His name is Jason Jenicky. He's actually from Kansas City, Kansas. Uh, he went and studied art at KU. And while he was there, he got involved with the Catholic Campus Center there and really got to learn more about his faith. While he was there, somebody asked him, do you want to make this a career? And he said, yeah. So he commissioned Jason to do some art artistry from the New Testament. And so he's got several, uh, we actually have on loan from the Archdiocese of Kansas City, Kansas, uh, five or six paintings of Jason's that will be on display. Uh, he actually was an artist way back when in the first art show when Joe Roach just started it. And it's an interesting story. Joe was at his mom's watching, they were watching EWTN and which is the Catholic TV station, and they were interviewing Jason. And he goes, <laughs> he was just at our art show. What do you mean? So know? he's got a great career. And like I said, there's going to be a lot of different mediums there for people to w look at and see. Uh, and Joe said he's going to be there from 8, 4 to 8 p.m., uh, Tuesday through Saturday. And it's air conditioned, so it's <laughs> going to be hot, so you can come right? and see the art. Which, and it's always fun because it's all against the backdrop of Andy Valdivia's wonderful oh, yeah. murals. All the murals the you'll be able to see. Of the yes. activity center. And then, of course, you can check out Jamie Colon's tile work yep. that's now around yes, the West true. Campus mm -hmm. of Holy Family School. And Father Dan, this does support Holy Family School, which is the joint parish school for Sacred Heart and Our Lady of Guadalupe. Really? What would you like to say to everyone as we gear up for Fiesta? Yeah, we'd like to invite everyone to come and to just enjoy Fiesta. It's a great time to gather with family too and to uh, enjoy the food and the dancings and music. So everybody, uh, please come and enjoy. Y me gustaría también invitar a todos aquellos que son de habla hispana también, ¿verdad? Y que eh, tienen esta tradición mexicana muy enraizada en sus corazones para que también vengan, compartan con nosotros a disfrutar esta fiesta. And will you have an opening Mass this Sunday and then a closing Mass the following Sunday? Yes, so the opening Mass will be on Sunday at 9 a.m. and then the closing again Sunday at 9 a.m. Everyone is welcome to visit Our Lady of Guadalupe Church and take part in the, just that wonderful community family atmosphere, mm -hmm. Dominic, right? This is like yes. something for the entire community to enjoy. Yes, it is. It's another way for us to, to share our pride, our passion, and our culture, with not only with our community, but with everybody within the city and and those visitors that come from outside the city and outside the state. 
Well, that phrase, I'm very familiar with it because our special, <laughs> Fiesta Topeka, yep. 90 years of pride, fashion, and culture. <laughs> We're going to have an encore presentation of that on 4 o'clock Monday here for Ion <laughs> Northeast Kansas so everybody can gear up one more time for Fiesta before it starts next Tuesday. And if you'd like to listen to it, we have the podcast version of <laughs> the special <laughs> as well that you can listen to wherever you find your favorite podcast. So again, the Fiesta Topeka 90th Anniversary Parade, 1030 this Saturday in downtown Topeka. Fiesta itself next Tuesday through Saturday at the Our Lady of Guadalupe Church Grounds. And one more mention for the pickleball tournament that you've added mm -hmm. this year as yes. well. That's mm -hmm. going to take place the weekend mm -hmm. after Fiesta. Gentlemen, thank you all for being here and mm -hmm. have a lovely Fiesta. We thank will be joining much. you thank out you. there next week as well. And thank you for joining us today for Ion Northeast Kansas. Stay tuned for iCrime. We're back in a half hour for Live at Five.